Hey, welcome back, Vineyard family. Um, we are ready for episode 44 of our Good and Beautiful Life Daily Reflection. And we're on Thursday, July 16th. Hope your week uh, has gone well so far. Um, you know, I've lived, uh, regretfully in some ways, through a few financial upheavals and recessions, whatever you want to call them, through my lifetime. Um, because I think we're dealing with this pandemic and um, the Black Lives Matter issues, all the realities of this obviously has cranked, notched this one up. Um, and this week, as we're dealing with this whole area of avarice um, and greed, um, this is a good season for us to just be inviting the Holy Spirit to uncover it on a little deeper level, I think, than when it just maybe threatened our stock portfolio or our savings account. Um, this is about real life right now. And um, I just believe that these circumstances that we're living in, um, are a special invitation from God, um, even as we're working through this book, special invitation for us to just be wide open and say, Holy Spirit, um, come, do your work in us. Uh, peel back another layer, Lord, maybe than, than one I've allowed you to do before. And uh, I would just remind you in this week, our soul training exercises was to, to give away five things to downsize by five. If you're like me, if, as I started looking at it, in fact, my wife, Charlene, was like, dude, do 10. Um, just amazing, the stuff that I have accumulated, that it would be easy for me to think about some person that might really be blessed by some of my stuff. And so I would encourage you to be praying into that and engaging it um, as we got these few days left in this week. Um, I believe it will really help. Well, let's pray together. Lord, we know that you orchestrate and use all these times and seasons and circumstances in our lives. Um, so, Lord, today um, we want to be wide open. We want to hear your voice. Lord, more than anything, we want to gain your heart about our money about all the stuff that we have. And Lord, we just admit to you in this country and time that we live in, we are amazingly blessed. Lord, we got lots of stuff. So help us hold it up to you um, again today and allow you, Lord, to, to um, change our hearts about it to wherever they need to be. Um, even in these few minutes we spend together, Lord, help us. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, you know, when Jesus said to that crowd, where your treasure is there, where your heart be also, I wonder if they got that. I mean, I'm not sure I even get it until I really sit and ponder it. Um, I think we have an amazing ability to believe that we can have lots of treasures. Um, I think we pursue them, we hold on to them, we switch back and forth kind of through different times and seasons and interests. Um, and, uh, and we really try, I, I think, to do that and believe it. I believe that especially as Christians. But, you know, uh, my sense is that there is always one treasure at the top of the pile. And that treasure is always going to end up dictating how much time, energy, money, and everything else that I have to give to whatever else might be on down that list of priorities. I think that's what Jesus was trying to get at. Um, that we would stop and ask ourselves with the Holy Spirit's help, um, what do I really treasure? What, if all things become equal, gets the best of my time and energy and effort? Um, and I think in this um, season again, uh, it's just great for the Holy Spirit to be able to reveal that in a way that maybe he can normally. Um, you know, it's amazing that when something gets threatened, um, we really begin to understand how we feel about it. That can be true in a relationship, or, um, but I, I think it's especially true when it comes to money. Um, when we've kind of been able to put together a life that kind of works, and I know some of you right now, that's super threatened. Um, boy, it, it really peels back the covers. It makes us be honest with ourselves about what's really important because fear comes up, anxiety comes up, worry comes up. We're going to deal with that one. Um, but anyway, we, we um, just are, are face to face with the reality of, of uh, 
what we hold near and dear. And that's exactly what Jesus was trying to get at. Um, Paul said, and he kind of puts greed and avarice together. But uh, in that passage that we're memorizing together in Colossians chapter 3, he just comes right out and says, greed, which is idolatry. And because of this, the wrath of God is coming. That's an incredible warning for us today to realize this isn't a game we play. This isn't something where I can just say, you know, Jesus today, sorry, but I've got to be about money. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to put you back on top of the pile. Um, When we do that, we are committing idolatry. We're putting something above him. And um, I just believe that these are incredibly uh, important realities for us in this culture and time we live in. And I can tell you personally, this has been an area that um, I guess the Holy Spirit hasn't had much trouble really pointing it out to me. But the older I get, the more specific he gets. Um, The more I have allowed him to work in this area, the more he has shown me that, um, gosh, there's little tiny ways and times when I just allow my heart to get wrapped up in this stuff um, and my fear and worry level goes up when it's threatened. Um, And so I just, I I know it's a process. I would encourage you today, again, to just be willing to engage it, enter into it. Um, And it'll be a process, I think, in this world we're going to have till we get uh, home with him. Last thing before we pray, um, I believe that in this area, and, and we've talked about this almost every week in every area, but in this area, we really, really need each other. Man, I need some other people that are trying to fight this battle, too. They're going to look at me and say about my old car, hey, that's cool. Keep driving that old car. They're, they're, going, to, they're going to encourage me to keep cutting back and asking the hard questions. They're going to be doing it themselves so that when I listen and see the world around me pushing me to want more and go after more, I've got some brothers and sisters that are going, whoa, dude, don't go there. You don't need to um, hold back. It's about the kingdom. Um, and I just pray that our church family here can be that kind of place um, where we just encourage each other um, to, to, I mean, none of us are poor, man, but just encourage each other to ask the hard questions and to be in it together, um, not measuring against each other, but just um, blessing each other with encouragement. Uh, anyway, let's get quiet. Holy Spirit, we just invite you on this uh, Thursday as we kind of begin to wind down our week thinking about this incredibly important topic in our culture and our lives. Um, Lord, come. Mm. Lord, make us willing to listen and ask the hard questions. You know, in in another verse here, Jesus said, um, you can't serve two masters. You're either going to love one or the other. And then he makes it so, so pointed. And he says, it can't be God and money. It's God or money. So, Lord, today, make it clear who our master is, Lord. And I believe those that are listening to this today really desire that you'd be their master so break us free holy spirit break the chains of this culture we live in that have convinced us that our identity lord is wrapped up in the stuff we have we just rebuke that today and we rest in your provision today lord Man, I pray that the peace of Christ would rest in your heart today. That in this time when it's so easy to worry, you would be overwhelmed by your safety in his kingdom and his provision. So bless us this day, Lord, to trust you and walk with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow on Friday and wrap up this week on avarice. Great word, huh? Have a good day.